Hi, I'm Attila Sergi and in this video I will play through a solo impression game by using the Gutenberg expansion. I already prepared the game, so all tradesmen are on the city board and both of us received our starting resources. So let's jump right into the game. In the first round the green player Gutenberg starts, so he has two steps during his actions. I will be the purple player, I will have one step available. Now Gutenberg starts. He activates the tradesman which is closer to the middle of the table. I will always check the distance row by row or in this current orientation column by column. Gutenberg draws his first tile and checks where the arrow is pointing on it. The arrow points upwards so he will go up by 2. The map is endless for Gutenberg so he will enter from below and perform an action in the middle of the first room, which is a typesetting action. During the typesetting action he checks the first letter, he checks where he can find it first uh, on his typesetting board row by row and plays the tile there. The action there is not available for him so he will skip it. I follow and eventually decide to do a workbox action. I can move one so I move to the tile next to my tradesman so I get one workforce and with that one capacity automatically. Now again it's Gutenberg's turn and he draws his next tile. He moves downward which means his tradesman moves down by two which is a travel action. During the travel action Gutenberg will move one because he has one workforce so he will check the arrow again which points downward and in clockwise order he search for the first city which is not visited by him. He moves one in that direction, he ends up on a coin which means he can do a trade action. During the trade he has a D letter on his tile which means he can do the second uh, trading tile. He never uh, pays the first part of the tile, he only gets the reward on it, which is 2 capacity. He moves his capacity marker up by 2. Now it's my turn again, and I'm thinking about doing a technology action. I'm checking the tiles, and I finally choose this one, and for this uh, I will pay one white uh, resource and one coin, I get the tile, I place it on my board onto the first spot and I get one capacity because I covered that and I'm checking the resources needed so I will choose a black resource and because I have a letter I get two white uh, resource which is two paper. I'm checking some options but the action phase is ended so we will move to the buying phase. I check my resources so the cheapest tile is fine for me and Gutenberg is always buying the cheapest one for free basically. So the production phase comes. I have free capacity which means I can move free with my order and uh, for this I decrease my capacity by one for which I get one victory point and for the next two steps I have to give up two black resources and two more uh, capacity. For these I get two coins and after that because I have two workforce I have to pay one for my workforces. Now Gutenberg uh, can move also free. For him it's always free so he will get one victory point and two coins. It takes a few seconds to catch up but they, basically the first round is ended. Now all of our capacity is um, resetting and we will stand up all of our tradesmen. Uh, we throw out some contracts uh, regarding to the player number and fill up the em empty spaces uh, for the ties and we check the new player order and in this case that means I will be the new 
first player and Gutenberg will be the second. So I am the first player in the second round, so I can move to with my tradesmen, but both of them are on a level 1 room, which means I have to do a reset. I have to choose a letter from the typesetting table, and with that I have two options, I throw it away or, or keep it, I keep it for later use. Now both of my tradesmen slides down to the second rooms, so I will get two lead and two paper. During my reset I have to lay down one of my tradesmen and after some hesitation I choose the one which is on the right. I lay it down and then I receive my resources. I take the two grey and then I take the two white for the second tradesman. Now it's Gutenberg turn, so he will draw one action tile again, and he also has to do a reset. Both of his tradesmen on, on the upper half of the tiles, so he moves down, get one coin and one grey, and for the second one he will get two black, and he laid down the first uh, tradesman because that was closer to the middle of the table. During his action he checks his pri priority and he finds the B letter at, at first on the typesetting table, so he will choose the B letter. Now it's my turn again and I'm already thinking about increasing my workforce more, so I will move with my tradesman onto the workforce section and I will get one more workforce and one capacity with it. And because I unlocked an assistant, I get to choose an assistant uh, which I can move onto the map. I choose the capacity giving one and placed it there. Now it's Gutenberg's turn and he draws a new tile which says he has to move down by one because he's the second. Now he moves onto a technology action. Gutenberg builds his technology row by row and uh, the actual tie will show which uh, technology he has to choose. It shows an F which means the third row as you see on the aid and uh, the first one is a level 1 so it means he chooses that technology because he covered it he gets a uh, capacity. And as I'm checking his money, he already has 5 coins, which means he has to score 1 victory point. As any time during the game, Gutenberg has 5 coins or 3 resources from the same kind, he has to score 1 victory point. This way the action phase has ended, so we can now buy our tiles. Gutenberg always buys the cheapest one. So he buys it for free and I have only one coin so I didn't plan well this round so I cannot buy any orders. I'm just checking the uh, contracts but I don't like the first one. Now we can progress with our orders in the production phase so I give up one uh, paper and I get one victory point. And for the last step, I only have to give up one capacity. And this way uh, the order is finished, so I get one more victory point. And for the capacity, I get one coin. I will have one white uh, signboard, so I can use that later in my turn. I have to check my workforce, and I have three, so I have to pay one coin for that. Gutenberg has two steps, so he reduces his capacity by two and he gets two coins for both of the movements. He don't pay any other resources. Now in the third round, again Gutenberg is the starting player, so he draws a new tile, he chose a left arrow 
so he has to move to on the left and this means he ends up on a workforce he gets one workforce and one capacity in this turn i was thinking a lot because i wasn't able to decide uh, which action should i choose i was thinking about maybe doing some uh, trading action or a typesetting action uh, because it, if i would trade then i would have a lot of resources i should move to uh, to reach the trading action uh, while i have only one movement i can reduce my capacity by one so it's achievable but uh, i decided to move uh, with the type sensing action uh, with that i can do several things because i have two letters on, to, uh, on the left side of my board uh, i'm thinking about using the e letter so i can uh, get uh, city type from the map and i finally do that uh, I'm just checking uh, what tiles are available because we are at the beginning of the game. We have a lot of options and there are a few good ones. So I'm checking a few more things and then I move the E onto my typesetting table and choose one uh, city tile, uh, city token from the map. And that uh, type something action is very promising for a combination. So I will choose that one. I can use it anytime during the game, but I choose to use it immediately. So I turn it around and then I do another type setting action, which for I will choose the money because I don't have a lot of money I only have one coin but with this one I get five more and I just averred I have an unused uh, signboard a white one so I get one horse and one capacity for that Gutenberg's turn he draws a new tile which shows a left arrow and uh, he has bought uh, tradesmen on uh, level one rooms so he has to do reset there's no uh, B or E on the typesetting board, so he has to choose an A letter. Then he do the actual reset. Both of his tradesmen moves down and he gets two white resource and two gray ones. Two paper and two lead. Now it's my turn. I also have to do a reset action. I choose an A, E letter uh, with one coin and after refilling its base I slide down all of my tradesmen. I get two coins for the first one and I will get a um, letter action for the second one. The letter action is always my own letter so I get one more coin. In the order and contract phase I buy first and I buy this contract for one coin which gives me one point for every C letter on my typesetting board. Of course if I able to activate it before the end of the game. After that because I have enough coins I buy this second uh, order which cost me to mark. It's Gutenberg's turn, he always buys the cheapest, so he gets the first one for free. Now it's the production phase, I started with my own, I have one order uh, and I can move two by uh, giving up one uh, paper, for this I get one coin. I almost <laughs> given and then I get one victory point and I check the further resources but I don't have any black resources to move 
forward and I have to pay two coins for my workforce. Now Gutenberg moves two, one, two, and that means he gets two coins. And uh, the order is finished on the right side, for which he will get one victory point. After giving him one point, uh, I check his resources and he already reached uh, two of his uh, resource um, limit so for the three uh, gray and three white resources i give him one victory point as i mentioned he always needs to exchange the resources and the money for victory point and now it's the fourth round and i am the first player again I have to move to exactly and both of my tradesmen is in level 2 rooms so I can choose any of it. I choose the upper one and move on to a technology action and do the action right away. And after about 1 minute of thinking I will choose the leftmost level 1 technology which gives me one uh, capacity. Uh, I would be able to buy a level 2 even but uh, I still uh, choose th that one as you see at first I almost bought the uh, rightmost but finally I decided to buy that one after filling its space I pay the uh, grey resource and one coin I have to exchange some but after that there is a chain reaction because I covered it I get two capacities and one more for the actual tile and there is a chain reaction so I get one uh, resource in my cho uh, choice and one more coin as you see from right to left now it's Gutenberg's turn he draws a tile as usual there is a left arrow on it and he has to move one both of his tradesmen are standing, but he has to choose the right one because that is closer to the middle of the table, so he gets a typesetting action. Because he has two ties uh, on the left side of his board, I have to check his priority, and D, A is the first two letter, and A is uh, what, we, what he has, so he has to place the A on his typesetting board. He finds no match, so he has to place it at the beginning of the first row. That way the letter is uh, not the required letter, so he doesn't get the action itself. So I'm lucky again. Now it's my turn again, and I have one tradesman left. And he moves on to a technology action, and for which I can buy another te technology. Now I'm thinking about buying a level 2 and I like this one so I buy this and I can place it on two place but I choose this one for which I will get one assistant when I cover it and I pay, pay the price for the tile which is two coins and one lead and after that as I mentioned I covered an assistant so I get mm, this one I place the lead assistant onto a chosen place. Then there is the chain reaction which I have to resolve. The tie which I uh, just bought uh, gives me an action. Uh, I can slide down one level one uh, tradesman onto a level two room for which I get one black resource and one coin and for the chain reaction I get one capacity, one resource of my choice, which is black resource again, and then one coin for my letter. That was my turn, now it's Gutenberg's turn again. His uh, tradesman can move, so he draws a new tile, which shows left, and then he moves one onto the left 
for which he gets one uh, workforce and one capacity because of the workforce. And now Gutenberg also unlocked um, an assistant and the rule is he has to place it between two tiles in clockwise order next to his uh, currently activated tradesman. And I just averred uh, of a mistake. Previously he entered uh, onto a room which is next to my uh, assistant so I take one lead now is the order and contract phase uh, we start with gutenberg because he's the second player i don't have to think about this because he always choose the first one he gets it for free and then i can buy another also so i'm checking my options and this seems right for me because i want to have sets uh, with the signboards so i will buy that one the price is uh, three coins because it's a third from my spot so i pay three coins i am also thinking about uh, buying a contract but finally i decide to not do that so that's the production phase i have plenty of movements i can move for uh, two black resource and one capacity and I get two coins I get to move one more I get two points for that that is free if I check the resource cost then I can move with this one one more further that's free only one capacity needed it gives me one coin and with one more movement for one white resource and one more capacity, I will get one more victory point. With the other one, I can move further. I get one coin for uh, one black resource. I pay the ink. Then I still can move for two gray resources. To lead I can move forward and I will get one more victory point and my very last step is this one I can move forward for one mm, paper and I will get one coin I will check the workforce and I have to pay two coins because this order was finished, I will get two victory points for that. And later I can use the signboard. Now it's Gutenberg's turn. He has three movements. One, two. And yet because this one cannot enter the first phase, the very first starts again. So that moves one more. For this he will get one victory point and two mark. Now in round five Gutenberg starts again. So he has two steps but at first he has to do a reset because both of his tradesmen uh, on level one rooms. He draws a tile and he checks his priority. He search for a B, later for an F. He don't find any B so he the EF tile. Both of his tradesmen has to slide down onto level 2 rooms so he will get one coin and three lead basically. One coin and one lead and two lead for the other one. As you see I didn't take the three lead because that's already one victory point so I just move forward uh, with his victory point marker and also exchanged five uh, coins to one victory point. During the preparation I forgot to um, stand up with the tradesman so I just did it. Now it's my turn. One of my tradesmen is still a level 2 room so he can move. But uh, after some thinking I will do a reset this time. 
even if I get less resources from the reset. So I'm checking the options and finally I choose a letter from the typesetting table and then my other tradesman who is in the level 1 room will slide down and I will get 2 byte resources for that. The other one doesn't give me anything but I'm fine with that this time. Of course, because I did a reset, I still have to lay down one of my tradesmen. Now it's Gutenberg's turn. He can move now, because he has a tradesman in the level 2 room. So he draws a tile, which shows a left arrow. He has to move 2 in that direction, so uh, he would end up on the same space where he is already there. But this is not allowed, allowed for anyone in the game. So in this case, Gutenberg always do a reset. So again, I'm a little bit lucky. Gutenberg will choose a lead letter from the typesetting table regarding to his current uh, priority. Now it's my turn again and I can move with my second tradesman and this is a nice example because my assistant gave me the benefit of moving more because uh, through my assistant the movement is free so I can still move two while I only have one movement during my turn so that way I end up on that tile which gives me two uh, trading and I will exchange one white resource to two ink and for the second trading I will do the same but this time I will choose to lead. With this the action phase ended so we can buy new tiles, orders and contracts. I can buy first because I am the last player so I check the orders and I choose the one which fits for my need. Actually I have plenty of money so I will buy a mo more pricey one. Basically I'm buying the fourth and I don't buy any contract. Now I can move to Gutenberg and as usual he will buy the cheapest order which is the first one. During the production phase, this time I start with uh, Gutenberg and he has three steps, one for which he gets uh, two points for the order and one more for the capacity marker and he has two more steps left, so two more orders move and he gets two coins. Now I am doing my own production phase, I have four movement maximum. I finish my order first uh, on the right side for which I have to move my capacity marker down and give up one uh, ink and I will get three victory points for the actual order and one coin for the movement. Uh, after that I step in with my new order. I have to pay one white and one gray resource and also decrease my capacity. For each capacity steps I will get the actual reward. I don't take them because I have to pay for my workforce. Now it's round 6 and I will be the starting player. I have one tradesman who can move but before that I choose to use my white uh, signboard so I can get one workforce and one capacity with that. After I cleaned up my uh, surface a little bit, I choose the traveling action. I move uh, with my tradesman and I check my uh, workforce. So I will have five movements all around. And I'm sure I will get to a new city, so I will be able to move forward with my worker. 
I choose this the direction I pay one coin for the root I get the tile and I immediately use it so I can get two resources in my choice I flip it then I get one white and one gray resource now I move forward with my director and I get one gray resource for that and because I landed uh, on a city I get to choose I'm doing a trading action or I can build a factory I'm considering buying a factory because there is enough time to use uh, that one uh, and I can build a level 3 already because uh, my technology is advanced that way so after some hesitation I will draw three uh, level 3 uh, factories and I will choose one which I want to build the price for the factory is always one um, marker from my uh, workshop and after choosing the third one I will pay this price for it and also get the reward which I just covered which is uh, one workforce and one capacity because of the workforce I throw away the remaining tiles and then I will get one more assistant because I just covered a new icon I choose my assistant I'm just checking the orders before that and finally I choose the one which is giving me one ink if someone steps next to it I place it on the map and I can move forward to Gutenberg for him both of his tradesmen is available for movement because they are in level 2 rooms he draws the tile and the arrow says he should move down one now it's a typesetting action he has to choose one letter from the left side and regarding to his priority he chooses uh, the one with letter E because that's the first letter on his tile and because the letter was correct he can do travel action now he uh, has to choose the direction because uh, the arrow points downward in clockwise order that is the first uh, unvisited city so he moves uh, in that direction uh, he takes the tile he don't use it because Gutenberg never used the tile he takes one uh, marker onto the map he moves uh, forward with his director and he gets one white resource for that and because he ended up in a city he throw away one more uh, marker and he builds one factory he always builds a factory if he is in a city for this he will get one free movement with his order he moved onto a tile which is next to my assistant so I will get one grey uh, resource, one lead I will take it, then it's my turn both of my tradesmen are on uh, level 1 rooms so I have to do a reset I move them onto the level 2 rooms and I will get the rewards for that but before that I have to take one uh, letter from the typesetting table I check the options and I choose this one and then I will get two capacity and two paint, two ink and after that I just avert, uh, I made a big mistake in my previous uh, action when I did the uh, traveling action I didn't move forward on the order track I had six movement points overall and I can divide it between the map and the order track I have to fix this because otherwise I wouldn't be able to pay for my workforce at the end of the round so I move forward by four on the order track that way uh, the order will be cheaper for me during the uh, buying phase now after this fix it's Gutenberg's turn he can move with his uh, standing 
tradesman, he draws a tile and he has to move one onto the right, which will give him one workforce and one capacity with it. Now once it's done, uh, we can move forward as it was the end of the action phase. Now we can both buy uh, one order and or one contract. So because I moved forward on the order track, I get to choose the orders or contracts cheaper. So I will choose the first uh, contract that's for free and then I will buy an order again all of them cheaper and I'm just checking the resources what I have and the signboards which are on the orders and finally I buy the first order and that is for free again and now it's Gutenberg's turn as always he buys the cheapest one he takes it and then we can move forward during the production phase. I start with my own. Of course this should go uh, simultaneously but uh, I cannot be on two places so I start with my own. I move forward with the right order. I move down with my capacity, get one coin. Sorry actually two coins. Uh, the order is ready if I move uh, right again and for this I get two victory points and also free for the order itself. Now I move with the other one, I get one coin, another and another. For this I get one victory point, I still can move on the uh, coin again that's one for free only the capacity has to be paid and now I still have uh, enough resources so I can do the last step also I get the income and also the victory points for the actual order and now as you see I will have two red uh, signboards which I can use later now Gutenberg can move 4, 1, 2, 3 and the fourth movement will be the first order and that is uh, 3 victory points and there is another one on the track so it's 4 victory points and also 3 coins. He gets the money but he will uh, exchange it for 1 victory point as he has more than five and that's it now in the seventh round i'm the starting player and as you see i already corrected the uh, two red uh, signboards uh, which i can use for travel actions and before my uh, actual action i will do this bonus so i will exchange these two icons uh, to one travel and this travel is more powerful than the regular because I don't have to pay any coins on the route. So as you see, I move uh, onto a new city, I get the tile, I place a marker on the city itself and for which I get uh, one movement with my director. But before that, because I had six workforce, I get to move forward uh, with three in the order track so uh, I will have cheaper options then I can move forward with the actual action itself uh, after this bonus action actually I made a mistake here because I didn't move forward with my director but that's one point and one white resource so it's fine anyway I will do the actual typesetting action and I will get a free technology. For this I will buy this level 4 technology for free and I get victory points for my workforce. That's free victory points and after that I get the bonus which I covered with the tile. I get one more tile from, from the typesetting table. 
after my action I refill the empty spaces uh, both on the type setting table and on the trading board. Now I can move uh, on to Gutenberg. He doesn't have any uh, tradesmen on the level 2 room so he has to do a reset. He gets a new tile and he moves down both of his tradesmen and get the actual rewards. I don't take the two grey resources because he would score one point anyway so I just give up the one grey resource and that's it. Of course he has to take uh, one tile from the typesetting table regarding to his pr priority. As you see it starts with F so that's why he chose that one. And he has to do another action with the tile and again uh, he uses his priority so he do the first one so he get one coin. Before I'm doing my own action I give Gutenberg one capacity because in my previous turn I moved uh, next to his assistant. Now it's my turn and as you see I will use my assistant uh, ability again because I have to move two but I need free movement but on that spot one movement is free because of the assistant. Now I doing the typesetting action I place the tile there and that way I can do a letter action two times so I get basically four ink as two times I'm doing the same and as you see I have a full row on my typesetting uh, table so I will get 5 points at the end of the game for that row. Now again it's Gutenberg's turn and he will move with his tradesman as he has available tradesman. He draws the tile and it shows an arrow down so he will move down by 1 because he is the second player. That means the technology action and his next place is a level 3 technology and his prior priority says it's from the second row he gets the tile and he gets the covered action which is one uh, workforce and one capacity with that this was the action phase so Gutenberg starts uh, during the order and contract phase he buys the cheapest order he takes the tile and then I get to choose also and I will buy the last one because all of the orders are cheaper for me. I check all and take the last one. Now I'm doing Gutenberg's production phase. As you see he has 6 movement points overall. So I start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that's all of his movement he only plays the capacity and for that he gets 4 coins and 2 victory points 1, 2 and 4 coins that means I give up 1 so he gets 1 victory point he immediately exchanged that now it's my movement or my production phase and I'm only able to move one with my order then pay two plus one for the workforce and now the final round I am the starting player because I advanced on the order track so I have two steps but I have to start my uh, round with the reset because both of my trades are on a level one room so I choose one letter I take and I have to place it onto another one because I have only two spaces. Now both of my tradesmen can slide down onto the level 2 rooms. For the first one I will get a letter action. I get to choose one of my letters and for the other one I get one coin and one lead. 
for the latter action I choose my coin so I get another coin. Now that was my turn. Gutenberg comes, he draws an action tile and now because of that he can move on the right side he moves too ends on that space and for that he can do another type setting action and uh, he uses his priority to decide which one he should choose and that way he places it on the first available slot because uh, there's no letter with A or F so the first available spot this way I am again lucky because he can't do the action itself because the letters are not fit. Now it's my last movement, my last action. But before that I have to point out Gutenberg will have a lot of points uh, because this movement as he made a, a full row and he has two forms unlocked for his contracts. Now it's my turn. Uh, I can move with only that uh, standing tradesman. And I am thinking, while I have a lot of options, uh, I will choose raw resources because, because I am lack of resources and I want to move with my orders during the production phase. So I will move only one onto the next tile. And because of this, I have to decrease my capacity by one because I only moved one instead of two. And for that, I get to leave. And that was my last turn. Gutenberg gets uh, one uh, capacity because I moved next to his assistant. And then his last turn begins. He has to do a reset because he has bought a uh, tradesman on level 1 rooms. He takes a tile. He checks his priority and then he chooses the tile uh, on the upper half of the uh, board and then both of his tradesmen moves down and he will get the resources. He will get two coins and then one uh, lead and one ink. Uh, I already uh, exchanged the free ink to one point so there is no issue there. Now he has to buy one order, he buys the cheapest one and because he unlocked two um, contract spots uh, in his workshop he will buy the two cheapest contracts uh, for free and he places them uh, into his uh, contract spots. Both them worth 5 victory points. Uh, we don't care what's uh, uh, on the actual contracts because he will get 5 points anyway. That's the rule for him. Also he get the bonuses and also I exchange 5 coins into 1 victory point for him. With his step he gained uh, one more assistant. I place it on the map but uh, actually it doesn't matter because he don't score for this uh, in the future and it, it's the end of the game. Now it's my turn. I have two coins, basically the first order is exactly two coins, the price. I buy it and we can start the production phase. I progress with my order, I pay one capacity, one lead, then I get one victory point. After that I will pay one lead and one capacity for one coin and after that one lead and one ink and one capacity for another. And finally I pay the one ink and one paper for finishing uh, this uh, order for which I get 5 plus 1 victory points. 5 plus 1 for the track 
and uh, I have one more step for free by reducing my capacity by one and for this I get one more coin. At the end of the game I still get the chance to activate my contracts because I uh, unlocked only one form in my workshop I can activate one of my contracts. I activate this one for one point for each uh, letter C on my workshop or this one for getting uh, points for the white signboards. And by filling this uh, place I will get one uh, workforce and one capacity. Gutenberg's turn. He has six movements. He starts moving with his order. One, two, three, four. He cannot move. Five and six. And this is stacked, so that will uh, give him negative victory points. But for this, he has five plus four victory points, and that means nine overall. So I move nine. Four, six, eight, nine, and he gets six uh, mark, and from that I will exchange one to one victory point. Now the final scoring. At first we will check the signboard set. As you see, I have one set: blue, uh, red, and white. That means five victory points. For Gutenberg, there isn't any set, so he doesn't score. Also, we have the uh, typesetting boards. We both have five points because we both have one finalized row. Then uh, Gutenberg scores 10 points for the contracts because uh, all of the contracts scores five points for him. And I get four points for the white uh, signboards and after that we will score for the unfinished orders as you see i have one and gutenberg has two unfinished order that means one point for me and two points for gutenberg now for the directors he score one and i score three victory points Leftover resources, he score 0 and I score 1 victory point. Also, Gutenberg is a little bit different uh, than the regular players, so he will score for the technologies and uh, factories. Each tile worth as many victory points as the level of the tile, so he will get further 6 victory points. And because he has one unfinished or actually not started uh, order, he will get minus 5 victory point. So the final result is 52 for me and 51 for uh, Gutenberg. But to be honest, I was fairly lucky with Gutenberg's actions. This neither was my greatest play. Actually, it's a little bit hard for me to concentrate on this type of video. But I hope you got a brief idea how the game works and how the Gutenberg expansion works. As you see, there's not much uh, difference in, in the scoring, but still this is not a final game, so we will find it in the following three or so months. So again, uh, I hope this was helpful and see you next time.